and I'm just wanting to upgrade my Mac OS and you pretty much go to the Mac App Store right here which is a free download and then you go directly up top here you see OS 10 line so I'm just gonna bring you through the steps of how you actually upgrade now you do have to have an Intel Core 2 Duo at least I thought I could qualify for get the free Mac OS 10 line but I actually get from July from July 6th to June 20th to 21st so I, I can get it for free but I actually had to pay $30 actually I did qualify getting it for free uh, so So pretty much Apparently you still can get it for free, apps, just to clarify. Computer. Intel Quad Core 2 Duo chip, and also have to have Mac OS X Snow Leopard, and then you have to have the Mac App Store. So you have to have at least three requirements, so let me relist it again. An Intel Core 2 Duo Mac OS X Snow Lion, and the App Store. Then you go to the App Store, and you navigate to the very top that says OS X Lion. Now, if you're watching this a lot later, you just type in OS X Lion, and then you click to the top right here. Uh, you buy it, click right here, buy app. Type in my Apple ID, or type in your Apple ID. Yes. Having some troubleshooting right here. Then when it purchases, it just flies right into your dock, and you'll see this actual loading bar is downloading. Now I heard it takes like, like 20 minutes to download, so when it's actually done downloading, I'll come right back and I'll show you how to boot it up. So be right back guys. This icon with an arrow and it bounces, and then once that's done, this window pops up here. It says install Mac OS 10, and it says to set up the installation of Mac OS 10.7, click continue. So what you want to do is click continue, oh, and um, for my download, it roughly took about, um, I don't remember how long it took, but I think it was like 40 minutes. So, uh, let's go. Then he went to agree. Agree. Uh, install. Type in your password. Click enter. And then it starts installing, roughly about 30 minutes. Now, uh, I'm not really going to make you watch the whole three minutes, but when it's done, I'll come right back. Then when it's done, it says ready to install. Click restart to install Mac OS X. And um, I didn't really think I had to restart. Um, <laughs> that's kind of stupid. I, I should have thought that. But um, yeah, let's click restart and then it will install. Now, obviously, it's going to just exit out the screen recording, so I'm going to have to stop. But once you click that, it's going to say, if you have other applications running, just say close other application. Okay, so I forgot to use the screen flow to show you. You have to put your actual two fingers up and then down and left to actually activate um, Mac OS X line. <clears throat> but this is pretty much what it looks like. There's actually a new wallpaper. And uh, just to prove I have the new line, it's right here. We're going to zoom in here actually let's go right here and you can see it's 3.1 gigahertz intel core i5 pretty much memory version 10.7 so that's mac os 10 lion this is a unique thing about the new update it's called more info and it will show more things about your computer so my graphics card is a amd radeon hd 6970m of one gigabyte of DDR5. So let's open up a few applications here, or just everything, so I can show you how Mission Control Launchpad, everything works. Let's give it a few moments to load everything up. As you can see, iPhoto has changed. Few things actually changed. And then we're gonna bring this browser over here. So to activate, pretty much expose. Um, hold on, let me get out of this. Exit. Um, you just have to take four fingers, I believe, and swipe up. Now this is pretty much like expose and um, spaces. 
on steroids. Everything's still loading. <laughs> All right, let's take four fingers, four fingers again, and then it'll show everything. And the cool thing is the icons right here will show what actually application it is. So save it to Firefox's uh, Windows, which I'll give you a uh, kind of demo. See how there's four actual windows of Firefox. Go back to Mish Control, and there is actually four right there, and it stacks it. Now to make new desktops, you pretty much take um, whatever application you want here, drag it towards right here, and it should make a new desktop. It's called Desktop Two, and then if you want another one, just drag it right here. Desktop Three. Now people just think you can drag it up to this corner right here. You can do that. Um, you just put it right there, it'll work. Or you can do like I was telling you, just drag it right here and just drag it right there. Now to exit the screens, uh, you just click X and the applications go right back into the main area right here. Now you can also rename the, the desktops. Forgot to actually do this. I'm actually very new to this. I've only seen a few videos on YouTube about it, but you can rename these desktops, you can change the background pictures, it's pretty much probably in system preferences. But this is pretty much an overall view, um, quick things, but Launchpad, pretty much, you know, it shows you kind of like an iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch kind of interface. To navigate through it, you swipe left or right, and there you go, you get two application, uh, two windows right there, you can sort of indicate it right there. Now say if you want to make a folder, so use like... Well, here's a utility as a folder. You click that and it opens everything up. Um, you can also rename the folder if you like. Just click the text right there and just rename it. But say I want to make a browser folder. I move this over and put in here Firefox. And then I name this Browsers. Done. Uh, just to delete it, you click it again and you drag out the icon and let go. So it's a pretty nice, pretty nice feature. I don't see any actual use for it. It's just more graphical, you know, updates. It's very, very nice. Other than that, um, to exit this, you press the exit button, I believe, and that's pretty much it. And go to Mish Control is right here. Uh, Mish Control is the most nicest thing I like about it. There's one thing you can different about new feature is when you're in the browser and you want to switch back to the history. You just take two fingers, I believe, and you swipe to the left. Okay, you take four fingers actually when you're in your browser. Swipe left to go backwards in time. And you see how you can... Okay, Firefox is a little bit different. Let's try it in Safari. Say you want the Mac App Store, then you went to iPhone, and then you select an iPhone. So now to go back, uh, you just pretty much... Oh, full screen. There, I'm sorry. The full screen thing, that's one other feature. Now to go back, take four screens and see how it's an animation. Uh, so two fingers and full screen to go back. And see how it's kind of showing the page before. And then before that again. Nice, nice animations. There's no really, um, it is used for this. But the animations, I mean, it's nice, but it's not really necessary. But this only works in full screen, um, I believe. And then to actually get out of full screen, you just drag your mouse on the top, and then click this little button right here, and then it's out of full screen. Very nice feature. That's another thing I like. And the major thing that that really, you know, made me say wow or and I appreciate, which is a really stupid thing, but they got rid of scroll bars. Like I really hate scroll bars. And you see how it's kind of like an iOS device, it shows this right here. Um, I really like that feature. Um, there's actually many other things I'll probably do a review for, because um, I'm just really new to this. I just watched a few videos about it. So give me like a couple weeks uh, to try this out, because I do work every day full time. So um, I don't really have time to do everything. But give me a couple days, maybe two weeks, and I will actually um, I'll actually get back to you and try to make a review. Um, I promise I'll try to be really fast because probably the time I do it, there might be too many out there. But I hope you guys liked that's a quick review of the Mac OS X line. It's it really just um, part of me just showing you how to install it. I hope you guys liked. 
please comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace.